George Chatham Bikeways Committee meeting. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> can you hear me, Charlie? Yes. Yeah, you can hear me. I can't hear you, though. Oh, okay. We'll figure that one out. Hold on one minute. One minute. Okay, yeah, get a minute. No. Anything? Can she hear she can't anybody? hear us. Yeah. Like double, you know. Hello. Can you hear us yet? Um, no. I can't hear you. No. Okay. No. Can you hear now? Okay. How no. about now? <laughs> now? That's a no. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yeah. No response to no. Hold up a sign. One for yes. Two for no. <laughs> Okay. She got it. She's saying. Oh, you, can you hear us? No. No. My bad. Okay. So uh, today is Wednesday, May seventeenth at five p.m. Here we are at the Channel Eighteen Studio. Uh, I'll uh, have uh, our Chatham guests introduce themselves. We'll start with Bob over here. Bob Oliver. I'm Steve Wardle. Dave Whiting. Brad Bivens. David Yates. Charlie Walkley. <laughs> Paul Gazine. And the chairman, Fran Saluski. Oh, the first three items. Now the new business. The approval of the April meeting minutes. Paul? Yeah, approval. Okay. Nice. I'll second, yeah. Okay. Um, the first item on the list here is the uh, Uniform renumbering of the OCRT. Steve. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I passed around a um, um, a photo that I concocted, uh, photoshopped, and it just shows what our what our image was uh, for for such a thing, um, showing the OCRT being labeled as oh, isn't that great? Uh, Yes, okay. it, it labels just uh, yep. the Eastern Mile. The, the supposition is if you're coming the other way, you've got that figured out, you know. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, yeah, we, we talked about a lot of things about uh, our, our DPW got uh, uh, very enthused uh, last fall and uh, started right into uh, labeling the quarter miles. And then um, and sort of put a little too much on, on the ground. And apparently we're going to go back and paint some of that out so it just says the miles in the east. Because uh, it also says the mile in the west going the other way, which is kind of counter to the, uh, the original concept of having a, a, a labeled uh, location where one could um, you know, call 911 and say, uh, I'm at 4.2, you know, as easy as that, mm -hmm. uh, 4.2 E. And uh, then people would know where you were. Uh, do I need to go into a long, elaborate? Uh, okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Paul, I believe Link said that he'll continue with the mile markers in Harvard. Yes. I'm whatever trying. they decided. I'm just sorry about that. I was figured I'd yeah. give Charlene a note just saying what they're trying to do here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they would definitely, you know, what we all want to do, I think we've discussed, is consistency. Yeah, what right, they look like right. exactly, or how it's going. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, um, it's it's being consistent. So my only question is, like I see your mission. You know, of course you're heading east. Mm -hmm. People coming the other way. You know, it'll also be like right in the middle, but just heading west. It it's uh, and do a W. It's it's. No, 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 that's no. That, 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 that's that's what's there at our end, and the the guys meant well, but but um, that was not really the concept. The concept was to name each uh, mile like four E, not name it four W also because that's confusing. Yeah. You know? Yes. The deal is this is the eastern leg, and it starts from the, rot the rotary, the zero shaped rotary. Okay. And uh, yeah, if you and, want to show, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is what they, the, yeah, they, they kind of got um, a little, 
Yeah, and it gets off the, off the mark there. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I wanted yeah. to bring up the question. The trick uh, is, uh, uh, yeah, uh, you, uh, you don't want that. <laughs> Especially when so, you're at. So yeah. the question is whether we even want east. I, yeah. under, I understand your concept. Yeah. Uh, uh, east, west, north. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the, but the question is whether we even want east. I mean, or do we just want to uh, number it? And then the other question is how frequent do you want the numbers to be? And how, how should the numbers be displayed? Okay. Well, if, if I may, though, um, I have encountered people many times on the trail who don't know where they are, don't know what town they're in. You know, they got in on Dennis, and they're just pedaling, and it's like, is this is this what Harwich or no, no, you're you're in Chatham already, uh, okay? There's no until recently. There's really no notice of where you were, yeah. and uh, you know, people get on and head up towards towards uh, you know yeah. Truro, and, uh, <laughs> and they really don't know where they are, you know. So I thought the idea of, of labeling the road. Um, Numbers E and numbers N and numbers W would be the most logical way to, to give each mile a name, starting from the big zero in, in Harvard Center. And where's north? The, that's going north towards Provincetown. Cape Cod Rail Drive. Okay. They haven't bought into it yet. And they won't. Yeah. Yeah. As it turns out, that's exactly yeah. right. That's exactly right. So yeah. they have their number system. Okay, that's fine. If it's all one road to them, that's good. But if somebody hits the rotary, thinks they're on the Cape Cod Rail Trail, and breaks their leg in Harwich, you know, there could be, they could be saying, I don't know, it must be in Orleans by now, so send an ambulance. <laughs> yeah, that's another I don't know. It, 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 I'm just trying to number. get rid of the, the, the confusion. Well, according to Eric, yep. you're able to hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, the, you can hear me okay. The ranger at the... Uh, yeah. Neverson State Park. Thank you. Right. He said that 911 would pick up the location from your cell phone. Uh, it's, it's likely redundant, yes. So yeah. Yeah. He said that he doesn't see any need for it. Uh -huh. But <laughs> mm -hmm. you never know. Well, people don't, <laughs> there are people that don't ride with a phone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they're, they would yeah. have to find a way to call 911 somehow, but yeah. uh, I don't know. There's, or, you know, I, I spotted a dead body. And I had to come home and, and yeah. call, and it was right by the 4.2. You yeah. know, I, I'm just saying there, there are reasons why this could be handy. Can I interrupt for a second? <laughs> yeah, so I, I had met with uh, the fire chief and um, uh, the police chief back in November, and this, the supervisor of the DPW was there, and we spoke about what they wanted to do in town. And I don't think you're at that meeting, Steve. No, it wasn't. Uh, so, they laid down a couple of requirements that they requested anyway that could happen. And so um, the idea of what Steve started, they absolutely were, were all over it. They wanted it done yesterday and they wanted it done as soon as possible, which is why they started without us even knowing about it. I mean, they were so <laughs> enthusiastic that they just went out and just did it. So what they had requested was that at least every quarter mile but they would like to see a tenth of a mile. And that came up, uh, the redundancy of the 911 calls, you know, and what happens there. So what used to happen traditionally is that someone would have an accident, someone needed to call in for whatever reason, they would dial out 911. It would go to the state police. The state police would get the call. They would send it to the police in Chatham. Now, and I don't know about Harwich, but they have a new system now where 911 comes in, the state police get it, the fire department gets it, and the police get it. And with that comes up the coordinates of the GPS, so that's a good thing. But it was mentioned, some people don't have phones, sometimes the reception's not good, sometimes someone gets injured, they can't, you know, their phone's broken or whatever. Uh, they just would really like to see it at least every quarter mile, and they also say they'd like to have it every tenth of a mile, so that's something that... So anyway, um, they also wanted signs, and they, you know, there were some examples that they showed me, and I have a couple of samples here, what they would like to see. But initially, and this is from discussion from our group, is that we would start with a quarter mile. And so the way, the way things are right now, as, as you're fully aware, is that at 3.25 miles, that's, that's where, this is Harwich, this is Chatham. 
and here's the line right here. So as far as consistency, out on the trail right now, there's a marker, 3.25. It's right there. So I, I went out and I did some, some measuring and, and, you know, I was just using like my bike, you know, the GPS. And thank God it said 3.2 miles right at this point. It's like, because if it wasn't, you know, either your side screwed up or our side screwed up. So if we can start at least staying in, you know, within this, that ends right here at 3.25 and we'll continue ours. And as Stephen mentioned, I believe right now they have done mistakenly out to, um, uh, out to right here, I think. Here's the right, yeah. So they've so done 4, it here 4.25, yeah. right? Yeah, 4.25. They've done it that far. Um, they, they've got it going east and west and everything. And from what Steve had sent out, uh, to Rob, our DPW director, um, you know, if if we go along with what Steve has, which I think everyone agrees is great, um, I did uh send a um email to the DP. W director and I think I'm going to be meeting with him next week. He wants to know what comes out of this meeting. He's, he's totally on board with it. He says these guys are really busy right now, but uh, they they really want to you know get this done. So I don't know what your plans are, but I would like to report back to him kind of where your heads are at as far as staying you know um, along the lines of what we're doing. And with that in mind, um, I believe you could use our stencils, which are you know the right size. I, I can get you the information of the fluorescent um, paint that they use, which is really very durable, and it's actually it's got a little fluorescent. It's pretty sharp looking, so I can I can get you that too. Um, and so it'd be about 10 to 12 inches high and i don't know if that's kind of what you had in mind yeah, Steve. Yeah. yeah i think it looks good what they did they just did it wrong but i think the size is good i think the paint's good i think the stencil looks good so we should think about the signage that the police department has requested in the fire i don't know what you want to do with that or what we want to do with that um initially i think get the paint on the on, on the uh crt and then you know take it from there Okay with it. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Charlie? Yeah, um can I can I ask where does the beginning of uh, like where is zero uh on the your rotary, map? The, the rotary, the Howard's rotary. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Okay, that sounds great, because that's what we were talking about. That would be a, lo a logical place to start at zero. Okay, yeah. thank you. Are you okay with the yeah. east? Putting east on it then? Yeah. Okay with like that. Do, Oh, yeah. Did you have a reservation? Yeah. No, I don't have any reservations. Okay. Okay. No, I just wanted to make sure that <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. everybody okay. else didn't. Um, so as a group, it's kind of everybody kind of agree. Right? I, I do, but do we know have a sense for Link's ability? You know, to uh, address Link, it. Link yeah. mentioned to me that he would do it. Okay. Now we're going back after I'm saying discussions back in whether it was, I can't remember now, three, four months ago. Yeah. But he said he would do it. And we kind of said, okay, let's talk to you guys. We finally, you know, everybody's back from Florida. And, um, <laughs> and uh, you know, we'll, we'll make it happen. You know, at the time, Link said that he would do it. You know, I think, it, and we just had discussion, you know, same template, same everything. Looks like the OCRT period, not two different towns. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two right. different yeah. markings. Should be consistent. But, you know, yep. like I say, we'll never get the Kit Cut Rail Trail on board with this, but they <laughs> don't. It's, it's not their trail at this point. Yep. So, so we all set with the frequency now. I mean, the argument uh, against the painted, the yeah. argument against the painted numbers is it could be covered up by leaves. It could be covered up by snow. It could be yeah. okay. We know that, but we also know that if we were to put in signs the kids would mess them up anyway they'd be pulling yeah. them out okay so we're in agreement on the painted surface yep. and we're in agreement on the stencil yep um so that we just have to be coming in agreement on the frequency right right uh, what's your feelings on that uh, you know m my thought is i i don't care whether you want to go every quarter or every tenth of a mile it's just you're going to 
It's going to take more paint to do a tenth of a mile, that's all, <laughs> in my mind. The, uh, the more numbers you have, I, I don't see that it hurts anything. If we're talking about signposts, now we've got a different <laughs> thought. You know what I mean? We have a lot of signposts out there that are going to be hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and more vandalism. just don't look at signs. Yeah. I hate to say so it. I, I mean, yeah. if you guys feel like a tenth of a mile, I'm 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 on board for that. I don't have any. What What's your feeling on that, David? Ultimately, ultimately, <clears throat> I think it would be good because the fire department has requested it, and the police have <clears throat> requested it. And um, you know, the, the trail is different in some areas. It's straight ahead. It's true. You know, and you can see it's all. Oh, I you know you can visualize kind of, but around a corner, you know, some of the areas where you know, it's, it's a ways to get to a quarter mile to find out where you're at. So the tenth yeah. of mile is good. Uh, it, it's going to look busy, you know, for sure. There's going to be a lot of signs and paint, mm -hmm. you know, but I think that's not a bad thing, really. Um, I don't know. What, what's your experience on some of the other trails you've seen in some of the areas? We've been on trails where the, where, that have been tenth of a mile, yeah. uh, but they've yeah. been more natural uh, where we didn't notice them so yeah. much, you know. Mm -hmm. They might have been embedded in the pavement, uh, right. like on Shining Sea, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You, you honestly never notice it. Unless yeah. you, no. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the painted service, you notice. I mean, yeah. let's face and, and on 6th, Highway 6, every tenth of a mile there's a sign. Yeah, right now. It, yep. and it's like no one sees it, but if you have a breakdown, well, you're glad it's there. Yeah. I, I mean, there's no question about it that whether it's Harwich or Chatham, the police and fire are not going to find fault with one tenth of a mile. We yeah. know that. No. Um, yeah. So I, I think everything needs to be blacked out, though, as far as everything what's else, on. Everything yeah. else on and the you guys agree with that? Out. Like what you've already yeah, sure. got out there? That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there's, there's I, a couple of different marking systems out there right now, with, with, <laughs> the, with the exception of your arrows that you put. Yes, yes. Really. yes. You should leave those. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God, I like yeah. those. Listen, I really do. I like. I don't know if I have. And the fence. fence. No, go ahead. Um, no, I, I think I'm in agreement. The one tenth that I know. Is Alan at the meeting? I, I don't hear no. Alan. No. He also expressed, I remember very enthusiastically, a, a tenth of a month. So um, I think it's a great, if the police and fire want it, I think we should go with that. So I'm, I'm in agreement, totally. So, okay. so, so we would, David, do you see, yeah. do you guys see it as like us doing our side first and then kind of? They can do it at their leisure. So yeah. Yeah. I think you had mentioned that you're going to be doing some paving, some repaving. Not right. This not, looks not like... Not in the immediate future. Okay. So could, well, we're going to be doing it. could be three years. Yeah. We have to repave the whole part that has been torn up mm -hmm. from the sewer. Right. Yeah. And, and in fact, uh, Ron, the, our, our, our director, said that um, that ties into this. You know, he said when that's done, and I think he said that's going to be done pretty soon, actually. He said when that's done, then they'll get onto the painting. But but you're right. There's certain areas yeah. they can always go back and do that. Um, and I think uh, you know as far as the distances and you know it's kind of a ballpark. You know it's this isn't surveyors out there with you know within a hundredth right. of an inch. Right. So it's just a, a regular wheel. It's a no-brainer. It's a thing that we all can do ourselves. Uh, you know, um, and I think that that's important. We don't want your side to be. Totally, one hundred percent accurate, years, yeah. and all of a sudden, our side's like, <coughs> yeah, I, oh, yes. Yeah. So it's, you know, an eighth or whatever. Yeah, it's off, a ballpark. Yeah. yeah, it's a good ballpark. Right. So it's a know, number on the road. It doesn't really. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, it could be the alphabet. Yeah. It could be animal, yeah. animals. It doesn't matter. It's just yeah. It just yeah. You know, pinpoints the spot. So David, you have it done now in quarter mile on your map, right? Yes. Is it a big deal to do that in tenth of a mile? Um, I already did it. Oh, uh, and this is where it's like the busy factor. You know, you yeah. hold that right. Oh yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. But what, that's only from the border, though, right? Yeah. This is from the border. Yeah. Yeah. But you can see here's a straight shot. You know, so. It's not critical that it's there. I mean, we should be consistent, but you know, you get into some areas, you know, where it curves and stuff, and especially over here, it gets a little crazy. Um, but that's the way it looks from an aerial. Yeah, I, and it does look busy on that picture, but right. that's at least five hundred feet. Up. Yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. You know, when you're down at that road, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't, 
Because I don't think you'll see a whole line of numbers. No, no right. right. Football field Ten and a mile. And a bunch. This is a mile right here. So yeah, yeah. That's a mile. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So you're yeah. right. So I think everyone agrees. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. That go. And then so uh, getting back to your comment, Bob, I think we should just go ahead with you know the Chatham side. You know when when the sewer uh, work is done, and yeah. we just come back and fix what we've done wrong and take it from there. Um, yeah. And Dave, you'd be able to provide us with the templates? I think so, done? yeah. I'll, I'll ask him, as I said, I'm gonna, I, uh, hopefully I'm gonna meet him next week. He's really busy right now. But, That's all right, yeah. 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 I mean, you know, even if we get it done in the next couple of months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting, it goes awfully fast. You know, I mean, if the weather's great, oh, yeah. uh, they can knock out, uh, you know, like when they did it, I was in Boston, you know, and I come back and you called me. Yeah. And I'm at the hospital and he calls me and, and you know, my wife's in the emergency room and I get a call and it's Brad and he's going, Dave, they're out here putting the numbers down already. It's like, you know, I didn't even meet, I'm supposed to meet with them and be on the ground, you know, boots on the ground. But so anyway, in, in I think two days, they had done all that area, you know, like I don't know how many miles it was. Yeah. Fortunately, we've got a new DPW director now, and so he wasn't involved. In right, that, and so the guy who was the, was the supervisor left, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, Gary. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll give a heads up to our DPW uh, okay. director, nice. just saying Great. what we agreed upon and uh, time frame to be determined, and we'll get them some templates and kind of go from there. Great. And if there's anything we can do from our end to help out, you know, as far as sending, you know, like a, 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 yep. a, a yep. uh, chart right. of this well, map. We can get or, together at that point, and, okay. you know. Then and in, in the ideal world, yeah. we would have one map that yes. shows Howard and Chatham, exactly what you've got there. And we would have the the um, both fire departments and both police departments and both DPO uh, W directors sign right. off on it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is and, that possible <clears throat> to do yeah. that? You can make it. I think so. Yeah. It'd yeah. also be nice to have these little maps with the, oh, the mile me. markers. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Mm -hmm. Not every quarter mile, yeah. but every yeah, yeah, even quarter of a mile. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Whatever we yeah. have, yeah. and in the east, yeah. you know, just so everybody's on. Yeah. Just, right. So if you have the yeah. map, it's like, oh, I'm yeah. at four point two east. Yeah, yeah. It's like. Got I'll do it. that. I will augment the map. Oh, that's right. great. Yep. I, I didn't think of that. Piece of... So we don't ask him directly. He because just the map, <laughs> the map is uh, it's like a dog with well. the bone. Yeah. 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 So we yeah. just augment the map. What a deal! Yeah. Well, I think and then we can have everybody sign off. It, it, if I if I were you, I it. would also ask your police chief if, if they have that uh, system that Chatham has now, where you know nine one one, and they get it directly. Um, you know the GPS coordinates when someone calls in or mm. is it coming from the state the way it used to mm. can i ask a question if you're going to update that map sure um they recently have been working on updating the map for the rail trail yeah and she added a lot of different things on there so anything you can add would be great like um mm -hmm. bathrooms. you know bathrooms Right. Um, well, yeah, our, our map shows little. little this is okay, so you had that. Little, so you already yeah, had that. Yeah, yeah I, I gave you a copy of it, you guys. I, I, yeah, and I've seen it. I yeah. just don't remember. Right. I, I saw it last year, but. Um, Bathrooms, yeah. bike racks. Bike uh, racks. Uh, bus stops? Beach. No, <laughs> it's the old one. No. She put bus yeah, stops on it because people could cut, utilize the a bus and get off, yeah. you know. And, right. and again, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a pain. Right. Yeah. And I need to let you know how nice that map is because I travel around riding rail, rail trails. Yeah. You can't find any maps. Oh no, no, yeah, like that, you know. or like the <laughs> CCRT. So yeah. you're really setting the standard. Well, that's a good segue, <laughs> Charlie, because on my one of my list of things was, are we supposed to be supplying maps for Harwich? Right now, yeah. Bob oh. Noonan is dropping dropping maps in your containers. Yeah. Do you so want them to do that? No, who? Well, I, I, I supplied them with the file so they could print their own, which is now, okay. Now, a couple of years ago, we we jointly printed them. We, we split them. Okay. We got a big box full and we split them up because it was a lot cheaper to do it that way. Okay. You know, but and we haven't have coordinated this time. But anyway, I have the, uh, we just got 3,000 printed and, uh, uh, you know, I gave you a thing and I told you where to go. <laughs> so we, we should we, we should tell do our own. Yeah, all right. We uh, we only have two locations. Yeah, right. I mean, the uh, last forever. You know, one uh, one is by one twenty four and back of the big white church. Right. And one at the Rotary. 
right. now we, we we sell them also like at the lighthouse and down by uh, the pond um, uh, oyster pond uh, they go and and at the chamber it's amazing. too they, they just the, the one at the lighthouse, they fill and fill and fill oh, yeah. and fill. <laughs> I think people take them as a souvenir. Maybe, maybe. I have to put them out multiple times. I do OCRT down at the circle, yeah, okay. and I was doing the rail trail, or, or, or the old colony as well, and yeah. it shocked me how much I had to go there. They and do. it's not like I found them on the ground either. No, you know, no, I kind of no, looked, and I looked, yeah. and people actually... Take them and yeah, use them. So, okay, well, because <laughs> we'd be glad to do them for a little while longer if you want us to. But it sounds like you don't want us to. So I'll just tell Bob Noonan yeah. not not to drop them off anymore. Do we really have enough? Do we have have maps. them to put up out? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just don't have any. Yeah. And I've got okay. a bunch. Okay. okay. Good. And if you need some, just let us know, and we can drop them off anytime. Right. But from now on, we'll and we'll use up those, and kit. then we'll work yeah. on getting. Okay. So that could be. Uh, for next meeting, we can figure that out. Yeah, we got okay. three thousand for six hundred bucks, and uh, and they're good. They're yeah, nice, yeah. Plastic coated. You know, they're. You think they'll last a year? The uh, oh no, that, that's why we got two thousand a year before we were done by yeah. August. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. Steve has a source for that if you decide you want to. Yeah. Order, order yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, so do you, want, do you want to discuss a couple more things? Sure. Okay, so the intent of this is not to have a long discussion or make any decisions. The intent of it is just to have you have, if you guys have some thoughts that you want to uh, make on it. Um, policy on electric bikes. Have you talked, have you guys talked about that? Uh, yes. Right. Um, Only frame. We, we're going to go along with what uh, DCR or uh, Nixon State Park is doing and they're going along with whatever the National Seashore is doing. Uh, as long as it's a class one bike, uh, class one e-bike, uh, pedal assist, it's approved. But like Eric said, he said, we're not gonna track anybody down. Yeah. We're not gonna hit anybody over the head. You know, it's just a matter of yeah. okay. common sense here. Okay. I think, so I think there's like the, four classes, aren't there? Yeah. Three, three classes. Three classes? Yeah. Okay. And it's yeah. actually officially in Massachusetts, it's it's class one and class two. Sure. And class two are allowed. Okay. Yeah. All right. So any more comments on that? All right. How about um, speed limit signs? We don't have any, right? No. On, the, on the old no. Colony Rail Trail, they do have them on the Cape Cod Rail Trail. Right. Right. 15 Eric, miles an hour. Sure. Eric, we've talked to Eric about that, and his feeling was that that really is just a way that they can hang their head on something. They're not going to sit out there and look for, take people's speed, but if someone is obviously driving fast and sh recklessly, they can say, well, the speed limit is 15, so they have something to hang their head on. I, I know, I, I can guarantee that we all ride over 15 miles an hour. I, I you yeah. know. No. Yes, you too. <laughs> so, are we in agreement that for now we're not going to put up speed limits? Yes. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, really, okay, huh? that, yeah. yeah but how about um, you know signs that remind people to be cautious? <laughs> There's that one sign I think at Headwaters with that has you know fonts that are so small that you can't read it unless you stop <laughs> right at Headwaters, which is a dangerous thing to do. Yeah. Um, but. You know, an occasional sign that says, you know, all users stay right, uh, you know, everybody use, I don't know, I don't know there, what the well, phrasing be, would be. Yeah, but there just, is a sign that not says a that. Sign, but, not a sign, I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, periodic, you know, just like we're doing every tenth of a mile right, right, on the road, right, people right. need to be reminded, um, at least I do. That's why I like your arrows, I, that's why I like, I like those yeah, arrows. Yeah, I like the arrows, arrows. yeah. That, uh, yeah. Not that curve. Yeah, we... That just, are good. you know, and, uh, anyway. Just I'll tell you what, why don't we, um, why don't we talk about that further That's at our right. meeting, mm -hmm. and if we come up with something that we think we want to do, we'll bounce it off these guys. Sure. That's All right, right, once again, to be consistent, yep. okay? Yeah, because so. I think it's very important, too, that people will pass, like if you're going slow, or if you have kids and you're going slow, people will pass them like, no tomorrow and they never say passing on left yeah. they just fly by and <clears throat> what happened you know and that's courtesy yeah it, it scares you if somehow we could in, in, incorporate some type of word word in every you know mile two miles or something there's a sign at the circle 
Now I remember what it was. And it says to announce when you're passing. Yeah, yeah. And and I, but but that's what I was referring. And, okay. and more of those would be. We, yeah, would be just, nice. just, yes. Just a remote yeah. system. I, I do think that that's sort of an aside here, but I do think that our, our government should have been supplying television stations with little commercials, just giving people the, just the common courtesies, you know, mm -hmm. or or just the smarts to. Uh, Walk on the left facing traffic, <laughs> yeah. because I learned all that stuff in school. But I, I nobody else seems to know it. It was under my age. Yeah, funniest thing. And I, yeah. I would love to see that sort of thing. Just a little fifteen second thing in between whatever your commercial is, and the same for the bike trail. You know, it's just so do you do you think? Uh, I'm just curious on the bike trail. You think this? walkers should go in an opposite, the opposite uh, direction? Uh, that, that's that's yeah, yeah. This yes. this is this has been discussed and is a oh no, um, really? I think and that is the be... rules some places yeah. on the bike trail. People, uh, the, the signs in many trails say walk on the right and not on the yeah, left. So apparently, right. I think it's because the the walkers at two miles an hour and bikes at ten miles an hour will have less of a collision than oh yes you, you know that's a six mile an hour collision and this yeah, is yeah. a twelve mile an hour collision you know so I I think that's the reasoning behind it but still it doesn't make sense to me either <laughs> you should be able to see what's coming yeah. and everyone uh, today I uh, I notified fifteen people that it was coming up behind them and they all had headphones on. So what's the point? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Good, good point. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like that little white thing. And like, yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, your policy on bollards. Bollards. Now, the, the new trails are not having, they're not installing bollards anymore. You know? Because no. um, so, we're, as you know, doing a new trail, two new trails, really, in, um, in Chatham, and I'm bringing up the data on that. Yes, I do. But the, yeah. the design does not have bollards in them because that's been determined that they're more dangerous having them than not having them. I mean, um, you guys have several, mm -hmm. primarily in one spot, but, but you, have, you have several. Is there any feeling about removing those, or are you just going to leave them there? Now, have you talked about is that? that? Is that the, the stone yeah. the, on the edge? Yeah. No, it's the post. It's a post. It's a post. It's a post. Oh, it's a post. Oh. So that's a bollard. <laughs> I have talked to um, um, safety folks, uh, the police and the fire department about that in the past, because I felt they should be gone too. And they were, there are people that are out there riding, driving their cars on, on, on our trails. And uh, that's Maybe why they're there. One. And they've gotten rid of some of them, but uh, yeah. they are pretty adamant that those be there to keep the cars off of them. They, <laughs> they, wow. the, the, when the repaving is done, we could ask. Yeah, that they not be put back exactly. But I don't know. They went didn't... through and took some out, like say at Brooks Park and all that. So we made them cut them down flush with the road. If you remember, they left a stump mm -hmm. there, which was worse than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah it's hard to see. I think there was a, a death in uh, Wellfleet. Well well oh, yeah. And Wellfleet, and that's that. kind of where because remember, Brad, you and I worked on bollards and we yeah. did yeah. the inventory yeah. and we met with the yeah. police and stuff. and. Yeah. That was it. Was kind of a law that they had to, to have bollards. And yeah. I, yes, I think it is. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know anymore. It's, I don't know yeah. anymore. This goes back a little yeah. bit. Yeah, but I think there's some history to it. Yeah. And that's why. So we have, we have a. Yes, go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to add to the discussion. I have sat on the trail last summer, and a gentleman, you know, probably in his sixties, and he was there with his wife. And we were crossing over at 124, and he ran smack dab yeah. head on into mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we've I, had somebody do it. And I went, ran over to him, are you all right? And I mean, I'm sure he wasn't all right. He said he was all right, but I'm sure the next morning he was not going to be feeling so good. Mm -hmm. But that's the only, you know, that, I get it. You know, people who don't have good bike skills, I guess. Yeah, well, it's easy to catch your pedal or catch yeah, your yeah, yeah. pedal. Yeah. All them, yeah. And, Tom Jones caught his pedal on it and, and, and took a huge fall. And yeah. the real problem, quite honestly, and we did an inventory on this, if you go out and look at those bullers and you, like you're the policeman or you're the fire truck, you come up and you, and you have to move it. So you take your key out and it's it's rusted. Yeah, you yeah, can't open. You can't even the police can't even get in here. And a lots. lot of them were yeah. like that. A lot of them are not. Yeah. 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 So that would be the first step: is the inventory of 
the ones that aren't and that are, are they even necessary you know, number yeah. two yeah. and if they really felt they had to have the bollards too i don't know why they couldn't just make a bollard that break pulled out and had a fake lock on it yeah you know no one's gonna mess it they're gonna see the lock and, eh. yeah, yeah but the police can know just slide mm -hmm. it off and drive on down well, like the longest happens long since you've been a teenager better, you know. <laughs> that's what our problem have, is we have, have those breakaway ones yeah. yes the most they of the they the yeah, yeah the rubber. and uh, the maintenance people come to do their maintenance they take off the padlock, and and they never they don't put it on for day right. back, back for days, and so the, the, the bullet is really loose there, which is worse because it's yeah. it's tipping this way or <laughs> tipping this way. Plus the fact if you hit it, it's very heavy, and if it comes down, somebody gets hurt more than if they hit it when it was stationary. Right. Um, we brought it up, I brought it up many times with DP, DPW that their guys are not locking them. But you know, with all of the sewer work that went down the trail, what they would do is they would open them in the morning for the contractors, you know, because they didn't want to come out every time the contractor calls them and says, can you open, can you open the right. barn to get the truck yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they just leave the locks off of them, okay, all the time, and the, so that these guys, can, so um, all I know is that the state's done away with them for, because the, uh, our consultant is designing the airport, the new the new paths, for, uh, both at the airport and south of the airport that leads to where Ocean State Job Lot is at the roundabout, they will not have bollards. And 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 when they're designing those, they're going to pull out the one or two that are right there are there now. Okay. okay. Um, so you have, keep that in mind, but we're not going to be putting any in. And if we get a chance to take them out, I think we we'll, we would discuss it and think about taking them out, mm -hmm. which would be over near the. Uh, and the, the, and the time to do that, I was going to say it was, it's over near the waste treatment plant, but and the time to do that is when they're repaving that, the mm -hmm. path at that, at that spot. And it's quartz. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we actually looked into replacing them with rubberized ones that yeah. go like this. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the cost, I think it was $60 a piece for those and, you know, on Uline, you know, and it was the cheapest one out there. Mm -hmm. And then so we decided, uh, the committee did, that we, that we needed them uh, with fl fluorescent tape on it. So we put fluorescent tape, and that, that really helped out. I mean, you, you could see them finally, yeah. but still, they're, they're eyesore, they're, they're cumbersome, they're, yeah. um, you know, they're unsafe. They're hard, they're they're, hard to navigate around, yeah. And they're hard to, yeah. those things are hard to lift over. I mean, you yeah. know, lift them yeah. off the, yeah. the yeah. post. Yeah. So oh. just, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I, um, okay. I'm just sorry. I may have just said yes. I was agreeing. <laughs> so but just just to bring you up to date on the uh, on the Chatham, as you know, we went for mass trails for um, three hundred and fifty thousand, and then uh, we we've got a total uh, uh, grants of five of nine hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, and those grants are are from uh, for the most part from mass trails, which, as you know, is a state run organization, and so. Uh, George Ryder Road, in its entirety, will no longer be a share of the road um, part of the of the trail. It will be an off-road trail, just like the rest of our tra our trail. You go. Uh, it, we eliminate the southern crosswalk. As you might remember, there's two crosswalks at George Ryder Road. Mm -hmm. The one up at, up at the hangar that will remain. It's going to be reconfigured a little bit further south farther south and uh, so you, you'll go straight across that in either direction and you'll but you'll be on a dedicated uh, eight foot path uh, all the way um, so th all, all the way to Wilford Road before you have to go on to any any street um, and the deal on that is uh, the first segment which is the, from the airport hangar now where the crosswalk is to the southern crosswalk where, so in between the two entrances to the George Ryder Road or entrances or exits to George Ryder, that's the first seg uh, segment of the, of the project. Um, that's been approved for everything. Uh, it's, the design work just was finished last week. Um, it will be updated in the next uh, 30 days. It will uh, then, uh, go out to bid, uh, we, and by November the the uh, contractor will be chosen, and construction will begin on that segment, um, uh, and it'll be done by the spring. The southern segment, which goes from the the current uh, southerly entrance 
uh, to, uh, to the Old County Rail Trail or the lower or the South Crosswalk to Ocean State Job Lot. Um, that money uh, is uh, been applied for to Mass Trails. We're expecting to hear word from on that uh, by the end of June. Highly optimistic about it because uh, we Mass Trails gave us. Um, Forty-eight thousand dollars in grant money to to do the study for that. So it's unlikely that they would give us the forty-eight thousand dollars in grant money if they weren't receptive to approving the whole thing. So uh, that's four another four hundred ten thousand or four hundred and sixty thousand, whatever it is. Um, it all adds up to nine fifty. Um, yeah. So that's going to be done um, hopefully at the same time as the, the uh, North Italy Trail is, uh, because some money can be saved there. Um, uh, and <clears throat> so all that's looking good, and hopefully in a, another year or so, we'll have that, um, that whole thing uh, off George Ryder Road. Now, just for your information, the airport is doing a few things as well. Um, the airport, there's a gravel parking lot next to it. They're going to they're gonna tar that. They're going to put a path. Uh, from that uh, uh, parking lot to the new trail in front of that uh, hangar on the crosswalk. Um, they're going to redo the gate to the, to the uh, airport. They're going to make it uh, ADA friendly. Uh, we're, we and they are going to be put in, putting in uh, ADA van accessible parking for uh, people to use. Uh, so that whole, that whole thing, uh, and they also, by the way, are putting in electric charging stations in, in the airport uh, parking lot. So. All that's going to happen in, in the in the in the next year or so, uh, hopefully. And uh, so we're we're optimistic about that. It's been a lot of work and it's been a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of effort to get mm -hmm. to this point. So, but we've had great support. Uh, on so that. what happens when on the trail when you get down to Ocean State Job Lot? So when you get to Ocean State Job Lot, there's already a 10 foot trail there that the state built uh, on the on 28 on the north side of 28. It goes around Ocean State Job Lot and goes all the way to Barn Hill Road. Right? Ten foot wide. They took the sidewalk and they brought, when they put the two roundabouts in, they extended the side, the width of the sidewalk uh, to ten feet. So that's already there and it already gets you down to Barn Hill Road. Right? And the idea behind this was for, so that people could come up Barn Hill Road, right? go down to the multi purpose path. Now, hopefully, they go all the way up to the right road and connect with the Colony Rail Trail. Um, And this will all be. And just for your information, the Mass Trails is very interested in uh, filling any kind of a gap in existing rail trail. That's their number one objective. The safety is their number one objective, but uh, their number uh, in line with safety is filling is filling that gap that is is now a share of the road. So they view George Ryder Road uh, as not an, a, not an existing trail, and this is really important. Mass Trails does not view George Ryder Road as an existing as a rail trail. Um, and why is that significant? It's significant because the grant money is for new trail construction. And if, if the George Ryder Road in its share of the road uh, format right now was considered a, a, a trail, we wouldn't qualify for that, but they do not consider it a trail. If any share of the road is not considered a trail. So when we went to them and they said, no, that's not a trail, that's a share of the road is not a trail, you qualify for new trail grant money. That's how we got our $950,000. Uh, because it, it fills that gap. Okay, so mm -hmm. if, you, if you know of anybody that needs a gap, go to the, or needs to fill a gap in a, a rail trail, go to mass trails because they've got the money to do that. Right to the airport. Right to the airport. Yeah. How about a tunnel? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> but I don't know about that. We haven't, we haven't applied for a tunnel. Um, anyway, that's, I'm sorry, there's a long-winded explanation of, of, of George Ryder Road, but it's going to take a different, uh, uh, different format. You know, when we justified it, um, in season, Walking on George Ryder Road, when somebody would walk on the road shoulder at mm. the peak of the season, that's a quarter of a mile. If you're walking 
a 20 minute mile, it takes you five minutes to do that. And on average, 33 cars went by your left shoulder. So that, when we, when we presented that, for a five minute walk, you had 33 cars going by it. It was, it was an, plus the fact that 60% of the cars on George Ryder Road are speeding, okay. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I won't yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyhow, that's the, that's the deal with, um, with George Ryder Road and uh, the new trail. And so I hope that will start going. Let me see what else I got for you guys. Um, trail counts. Um, well, we want to do trail counts. I want to do trail counts. Um, are you, you guys have any plans for to do trail counts on your your section? Uh, ours, no. Do you ever do trail counts on your section? You, you've done it before, haven't you? Do you want to do trail counts on your section? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we are involved in doing them on uh, you know, CR, the correct CCRT. Yeah. But we did yeah, them, yeah. We, we did them for the purpose of um, of our application to mass trails. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. You don't need the information until you need the information. Right, right. And then you True. don't have it. Yeah. Okay. So I just mentioned that to you because obviously Mass Trails wanted to know uh, what's the volume of traffic on right. here. Right. Yeah. Um, and uh, and so we did. We we got volunteers together and we did uh, trail counts and they and we did them by um, category. So we broke them out as uh, runners and and skateboarders and everything else. So yep. we, ha we have all that information. Okay. Uh, uh, so if you ever need it, let us know. Um, do it more than once a year? No. Well, we in this particular case, we did it a couple times because we needed the information. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I don't see there's a, where there's a need to do it more than once a year unless you want to unless you want to compare off season versus on season something. Okay. But um, just for your information, we did it at the airport. And uh, on average, the peak peak was about a thousand people uh, on a, on the Old Colony Rail Trail, and somewhere between any given weekend, it would be uh, on a weekend day, it would be seven hundred to a thousand. That's what we were, we were tracking. Yeah. And then once we get to the end of the rail trail, we've done it at the end of Wilford Road and Queen Anne Road. Remember, we did rail trails there. It tails off. It tails off a little bit uh, once you get to towards the end of, of the rail trail. Um, some people turn around okay. and, and you know the airport was a real deterrent because yeah. people would get to the airport and they would turn around if they were going eastbound okay or vice versa um and because they were afraid to bring their family understand yeah, yeah, yeah. down down georgia Road. Yeah. so anyway um and, and the cape cod commission is very very helpful with this yeah they will they yeah. will do them for and you they'll come out and do it for you yes and, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, especially if you're working on a project they're very much into helping you out i i think they have a counter correct that yeah. they lay across yeah, the, they and you can borrow it so mm -hmm. to speak yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah they also use interns to do that yeah. because they have interns for the summer and they're always looking for projects for them. So they send the interns out there to do that. Uh, and they do uh, traffic counts, too. I mean, vehicle traffic And counts. the police do that also. You can always ask them to do to give you a count of, you know, the crossing, how many oh, cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what, just for your information, um, the vehicular traffic counts were very important as well for us on, on George Ryder Road. Because it determines whether or not you can have flashing lights, uh, you know, if you, in terms of there's criteria for the uh, for uh, traffic as to whether or not it's justified or, or, or not. Um, so anyway, the point is that it's, this information becomes handy from time to time. Um, maybe you guys are more well established than we were. Maybe you don't have a need for it as much as we do. But um, uh, we. We have a project coming up where we want to do something about that crossing on 124. That yeah. Everybody knows how bad that is. Yeah. And it's it's not a simple crossing because the volume and it backs up into Main Street Harwich. So they don't want to put flashing lights there. And just, I don't claim to be a traffic engineer, but my thought about it is you, they're going to have to go under. Build a bridge. Build a Tunnel. Build a tunnel. I, I I just don't see any other answer that makes any sense. So I'm sure we're going to need that kind of information. Cape Cod Commission. You're going to need the vehicular traffic counts for yeah. sure. And yeah. of course, the yeah. Harwich Police will do that for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they did it for us. One of the things that I tried to do 
when I was justifying writing up the Mass Trails application, was to see how dangerous the uh, the Oconee Rail Trail was, and I, I was surprised to find out that Chatham had no statistics whatsoever mm -hmm. on any reported accidents on the trail. You know? Yeah. Because most yeah. people don't report the accidents. Correct. Right. Correct. Yeah. And they had yeah. none. Yeah. Uh, which didn't help me at all. But yeah. uh, anyway, so we we have all. Charlie. That. Paul, I, I wasn't sure if it was Charlie or Paul. Um, when you when we were bringing up the idea of the 124 crossing, I sort of remember someone saying that, oh, the police, you know, they don't remember any accidents there. Yeah. And so yeah, no data. Yeah. But yeah, I think traffic would give us more legal, you know, some obviously a reason to even bother with that crossing. Or what what is the appropriate crossing? But that is not a great spot for people to cross, and I'm surprised no one's ever had an accident there. The, 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 one thing, the, the one thing about the accidents, and we've asked the police about this, because we know there's accidents. At one time we were doing a count and there was an accident right in front of us, but the only time that the police have any record of an accident is if the ambulance is called, in other words, the fire department. If no one calls, you know, somebody limps off, you know, uh, it's not going to be reported. If somebody calls it in and they said I had an accident, that's not going to be recorded. They have to have an ambulance arrive or the fire engine. Hmm. Just the other, the other thing for your information, and it may, may or may not be helpful, is um, in Chatham, when I tried to find out how many accidents were on George Ryder Road, um, they don't record the accidents necessarily by George, by George Ryder Road. So you can't, uh, for example, if, if the accident occurred at the corner of George Ryder Road in another street, it, uh, it, would, it might be listed on, on, that, as, on that other street, or it may be listed at the corner of the street. So if you simply, when he logs in to say how many accidents on George Ryder Road, it doesn't pick up all those others that happened at the traffic circle, or okay, at the bottom of George Ryder Road, or whatever else. So they only came up with two single car accidents on George Ryder Road in, in like a three year period. So anyway, there's, and last, lastly I'll say, um, we did a parking analysis um, in front of the airport. That was helpful because we determined that the parking was only used 60% of the time. And the reason that was helpful is that told us that we could convert a couple of those parking space to van, van accessible spaces uh, uh, because we had the XX capacity there, plus we had the uh, airport gravel parking lot that's going to be uh, repaved now, so that's available for people using the restaurant and everything else. But it also helped us because we had that data so that when somebody said, you're going to be taking away my parking for the restaurant or Nickerson Lands, or somebody says that, or VFW said, and we said, listen, look at the, here's the parking survey. Yeah. So yeah. Once, once again, I, I encourage you to think about, especially if you've got a project like you're talking about, I mean, that parking lot next door, right to where you're talking about, it would be very important to know how utilized that is, okay? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Yeah. not only... The, the parking lot by the church, yeah. Yeah, yeah. not only is the capacity, but there's cars pulling in and out of there all the time, which is some yeah. of a hassle. Yeah. yeah, it's a church. Yeah, it's the church parking lot. Yeah. They feel that that's a private parking lot. They don't... Yeah. Want people to oh, park in it, park wow. yeah. okay. particularly on Sundays. But well, for the I, rest of the week, they, I, know, I always thought it was part of the bike trail. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's that's all the yeah. only people I ever see using it. <laughs> I yes, I know. I put the maps out there. They yeah. the one day they came out that we had to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Our DPW chief recently said that he approached Mass DOT about that. 124 intersection, and he was told by Mass DOT is that it will be five years before they look at it. Yeah. 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 Fuck. yeah. yeah. So we. But they yeah. will spend the money, Mass DOT, you know, with their yeah. engineering, right, 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 monies and people <laughs> to evaluate it. Okay, because so. we're redoing the intersection in front of Chatham Village Market. There, uh, that's th that we have 3.7 yes. million dollars in financing. I should say financing and funding from the state to redo that, but it's not, it's a 2028 project. Yeah. yeah. And we're just doing the design now, 3.7 3. million. And by the way, 
um, the select board of Chatham was against bike lanes on 28 because they lead to nowhere. And the state DOT said, if you don't have bike lanes, you don't get 3.7 mi yep. uh, million. <laughs> because, the, because wherever the, wherever the state, is, nowhere. Put, wherever the state is, is, put, is redoing roads Suddenly or redoing the intersections, <laughs> they're, they're putting bike lanes in. And yep. that's a requirement for the, for the funding. Okay. If you go down to High Ridgeport on 28, you'll see that exact example. Yeah. It's about a mile long. Yeah. Well, it's proven beneficial now because we're tying into yes, because now you're down at the closing at, at yeah. Ocean State Job Lab. Okay, I don't want Kate yeah. to take it too much longer. Just a couple of other things here uh, that I have on here. Vandalism. Um, you, you guys had some vandalism on the trail this past winter. Yes. We had last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we had vandalism on the trail. Uh, um, we're not going to solve it talking about vandalism today. I know you put up signs that say. Uh, closed circuit TV cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I I've been looking that. for that camera. Yeah. <laughs> You're still looking for that camera? <laughs> Squirrel camera. We are too. We are also. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Um, actually, our signs, as you may know, ended up in Harwich. You know, they stole all our signs. We they stole a, a dozen of our signs uh, on the trail, and, the, and then the kids ended up, and they were actually caught in Harwich. <laughs> we ran away, we ran away, but um, uh, I guess we should better share what information and uh, any kind of resolution on, yeah. on vandalization because this yeah, is yeah. not going to go away anytime soon. You know, it's kind of a, I, I agree, kind of a lead on should we meet quarterly? Should we meet every six months, or when something comes up, should we get together? That seemed like both of us could be involved. That's like hard enough. enough. What's that? Yeah. This was hard enough coordinating. I this. think we should just. I think we should ask for a meeting when necessary. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah uh, that makes Because sense. then one or more of the your guys or you guys will come to it. But I think if there's any any, I mean, I don't know how you guys feel, but if there's any topic Definitely. that we that we feel yeah. is that we would like their input on, then yeah. we can ask for it and we can send one or more people yeah. to it. And likewise, you can do it the same sense thing. Because, you know, what you're going to do near the airport has no reflection on us. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, near the boundaries or something that's part of the OCRT, yeah, maybe. Well, you say that, Paul. But <laughs> I will say to you that at one time, and it may still be there, at the roundabout in Harwich, there's a description of the Cape Cod Rail Trail, and in that description it says that when you get to George Ryder Road, it is a busy and somewhat hazardous road. Okay. It's like saying, hey guys, you really don't want to go there. Okay. Uh, so We need to redo the map. Yeah, only when we, once we put the trail in, okay. then I think we need to do Two things, okay. And I'm going to ask for I'm going to ask for a representative from your group. We we need to redo the maps to the extent necessary, not only there but elsewhere. But the other thing we need to do redo is trail links and all the uh, internet links that talk about the Cape Cod Rail Trail because on there you'll find the same thing. It tells people to walk their bikes on George Ryder Road. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. I mean, it's a real deter deterrent. <laughs> we should say, oh boy, it says it's dangerous, but well, we all know. Yeah. Dangerous. Sure, it is. <laughs> fun. To some extent. And a lot of other roads are dangerous. Right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, I think that you'll, be, you'll probably be surprised as, uh, as to how uh, the improvements uh, at the airport will, will ultimately affect the ridership and usage of. of oh, not, sure. no question about it. Yeah. Now, yeah. so. You got, you guys have three point three miles of the old, uh, approximately, of the old county of the old county rail chain, right? Right. We have approximately four point seven miles. I want you to know that, you, not counting what's at the traffic circle, um, not counting what's at the border, you guys have eight bench chairs. Mm -hmm. We have. One, okay. You, yeah. if you walk from the beginning of the trail and Depot Road, <clears throat> the uh, the first 
point at which you get a place to sit down is 2.7 miles, and that's at the airport. If you keep walking, the next place you get to sit down is two miles away. There's none at 137, there's none at Morton Road. Where is it? It's that crummy little bench at the border. Now, what I'm, here's what I'm going to tell you guys that I'm going to do for you guys, okay? First of all, my daughter lives in Wellesley, Mass. The guy, these guys already know this. And Wellesley just put out um, an opportunity for people uh, to donate the benches. And the town of Wellesley, they had more people that wanted to donate benches than they could possibly find. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for do donations for like yeah, three or four yeah. benches. One being putting on the border on the Chatham yeah. side, but a permanent bench. <laughs> We're talking about a permanent bench. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're talking about one that's in concrete. Um, and hopefully I'm gonna get three or four people or more that are, are willing to. And all you, as you know, three of your eight eight benches have plaques on them. The others yes. don't. But but ours would, you would put a plaque on it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I told these guys this, I have to just say this, because I think it's funny. My daughter lives in Wellesley, she has four kids that are in Wellesley uh, Athletics, uh, very active, but she didn't want to put her name on the bench. So her bench reads, uh, sometimes it feels good to be benched. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> oh, that's a class. Okay, so anyway, that's, I just want you to know that's our, not my next uh, effort on this one, okay. Now, the other thing is that the um, Rob Fraley, our new DPW, is going to discuss at our meeting um, next week that the state wants us to put up signs that about the four foot. Um, yeah. Okay, you got you got that as well. Okay, so you're going. To, oh, okay, so you're going to feel it. You're going to amongst yourself figure out where to put that. Are you only putting it on the rail trail, or you're going to put it also? No, I don't. I. No, go ahead. We. Um, We've put in our suggestions, and so the director of the DBW, I think, is going to meld everything together and come up with a... I don't think... I didn't see any plans for signage on the... On the rail truck. On the rail, rail truck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and, I don't think we're yeah. going to put signage on... There's no cars on the rail truck. So no, no, yeah. it, it, it belongs on television. Okay. I think, yeah. yeah. I've got a, you know, and I don't know if we're going to talk about this separately as in our committee, but when I attended uh, virtually the um, presentation when the vulnerable uh, room users uh, law was discussed by the senator or what have you, um, the signage that we're seeing has a bicycle and, you know, you have to go around four feet. Um, but that doesn't exclude other roadway users like walkers. I mean, I know our committees are bikeway committees, but I would like to, I'd love to see some signs for people who walk on roads that don't have sidewalks, which many of our roads do not. Um, and I don't know, you know, we're supposed to have a meeting with the Traffic Safety Committee, and I'd like to bring that up. Like, we should have signage with walkers and riders because they're all the vulnerable uh, users on the roadways. So anyway, I just want to make sure that it gets recorded somewhere because, honestly, I think we um, have many people who walk um, on the roadways. So again, not our specific but it ties in with the sign issue with, you know, the state is going to provide signs. And even then the senator said that, uh, yeah, you can have on a sign a, a, a person on a horseback if you wanted to, you know, it doesn't really matter. Anybody who's not motorized is a vulnerable roadway user, <coughs> excuse me, and walkers are obviously should be included in that. So anyway, have we finished with that list, Charlie? Because I, I just have to list. The, the list, um, uh, Paul sent out the list, and um, uh, I think we have given Paul answers, and I think yeah. you have forwarded yeah. those back. Right? Right, yeah. Okay. So you could get your, you could, if you have suggestions, send a, 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 a note to Paul, and he'll get it on that list. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to get the, I'd like to get that back to link this by let's let's put a target on it uh, by Friday. Okay, very good. I'll send you one more suggestion. Okay. <laughs> that finishes with my list. I want to thank you for your time and for your yeah. courtesy to have us here. 
I think it's been productive. And when we need each other, let's yell. Yeah, again. yeah. Absolutely. Can I just say one thing? We have a we're lucky to have a this young lady visiting. She runs this no, building. I don't know if you know. Yeah, that's whole. And yeah. she's an avid biker, and oh, great. she wanted to. Do an announcement. So, oh, uh, it's it's nothing as exciting as what you're doing, but um, anytime I do anything with bikes, you know I like to come here. So on June 14th, we are running a kids clinic, and we're going to have the uh, Harwich Police Bike Force come and talk about safety, and then we're doing a kids bike car wash. So if you want to partner, you know, we're happy to have you. Sure. So yeah. just June, putting it out there, it'll be June here. 14th. June 14th, which is flag day. So we've got some things to decorate their bikes and bells and nice. lights and anyone, it's all free. And you know what, the, uh -oh. but we, the bike committee had a, for a couple of years, they had a bike rodeo I know. the parking lot. And what the kids seemed to enjoy was the obstacle course. You know, we, 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 oh, yeah, we, we put sponges out in the, in the path. We made a path, in the, and the kids liked going over the sponges or going around the turns. <laughs> and s several of the kids kept on going yeah. back through. <laughs> Well, so maybe that, I'll get the Yes, yeah. for sure, but I just wanted to yeah. let you no, know. That's good. Now, that's just a lead on real quick, too. Um, Kiwanis Club is having, if they have the bike rodeo here, on Saturday, on the 20th. Okay. I don't remember seeing I, that. I haven't seen any, I haven't seen any publicity. Well, I haven't it's seen any publicity, it, so but I'll that's check. it. <laughs> yeah. um, I have it on my calendar. Okay, I'll check. I'll check. Now, the question is, is uh, of course, it's going to be 80% rain. <laughs> yeah, yes, right. rain on yes, Saturday. Yes, yes. So I don't know if they're going to have it. Yeah, you're not aware of it. Um, well, I, don't, please. There's okay. so many things. Don't go by me. I'll look it up. I, usually I check yeah, those bikes. Yeah, yeah. Ed mentioned to me that it was going to be there. And, you know, he was looking for, you know, if anybody's free on 9 o'clock on, you know, yeah, on a Saturday morning. Yeah, I can't So let me reconfirm and send it out. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for letting me say that. <laughs> so we didn't introduce Carolyn. We did. Uh, I'm Carolyn. I run the community center. Carolyn Carey. It's lovely to see all of you. And I look, and I'm sure I've seen lots of you on the trails. So, yeah. one, one other point, Charlie. You mentioned on a bike ride this morning about the police report. Yes. Yes. I um, found this on Facebook, and it was a description of a hit and run accident that happened down near the beach and the biker was injured i not life-threatening but but had some significant inter injuries and it was just interesting the write-up let me just read this just a second it said uh, uh in this area the crash involved an unknown black suv versus a pedestrian on a bicycle and what struck me about that sentence was that he was calling the person on the bike a pedestrian. Pedestrian, mm -hmm. yes. And so, <laughs> because we're always faced with this thing, well, if you're not a, if you're on your bike, you're not a pedestrian, and you're, um, if you're on your bike, you're not a pedestrian, and so you don't have any right of way I, crosswalk. I the, the, the and trend, I think that's trend, sort of speaking against mm -hmm. that. And yeah. I, I, I don't hold. I'm not a lawyer, I don't, but. Yeah. But I think that that's probably how it was well, just interesting to see that. On the bike anyway. Yeah, I uh, I don't know where those things cross, but I yeah, it's something that always sort of irks me. Really. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, me too. I'm a human. I'm on something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. You know, yeah. I don't care if it's a skateboard or whatever. I don't deserve to be run over. No. You know, and no. and I don't change state because I suddenly touched one foot on the ground. You know, I know. I I. That's the thing that yeah. just drives me crazy. <laughs> yeah. So that. That was an interesting state, right? Uh, okay. well, Thanks again, guys. Yes. Thank, you Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. Very nice. Well. Take so, care. Do we get a, a one hour we'll reprieve the of the ride tomorrow? <laughs> yes, tomorrow. We're going to see you guys tomorrow? <laughs> yes. Yep. Yep. We're no, going to no, still no, start at night. We're going to start at six pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 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 Th